Hello friends and welcome back, like always we brought you a bunch of updates. Tesla dominates the 2021 US manufacturing index, with four cars entering the top 10, while in China, Model Y surpassed Model 3 in September. Although the headquarters has moved out of the state, Tesla has taken over HP California campus. Tesla's expansion in Palo Alto follows CEO Elon Musk's announcement last week that the company will move its headquarters from Palo Alto, California to Austin, Texas. Here, Elon Musk's Tesla has already made $1 billion in profits from holding Bitcoin, which makes the company one of the largest companies to take this move. Many cryptocurrency analysts expect more blue-chip companies to follow suit. Finally, Tesla signed a new nickel supply agreement, a few inches from the mass production of the 4680 battery. So don't go anywhere and make sure to stick with us for all the details. Before we start, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to Technopool, and smash the bell button to receive notifications. According to the annual car index, which measures the ingredient content of US-made cars, Tesla has at least four models in the top 10 for most US-made cars sold today. Kagod Business School's 2021 American Manufacturing Car Index ranks Tesla Model 3 third, Model S and Model Y tied for fifth, and Model X at eighth. The reason Tesla dominates the manufacturing rankings in the United States is that all the models it sells in the United States are manufactured at the Fremont plant. Obviously, this is not just a factory location. Most of the components Tesla uses in its electric vehicles are from local suppliers. For example, 65% of the parts used to make the Tesla Model 3 Long Range, Standard Range and Performance are sourced from the United States and Canada. The Model 3 is outranked only by the manual Ford Mustang GT 5.0L with a 77% score, number one in the ranking, followed by the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray with a 72% score. The Tesla Model S and Model Y score 60% each, while the Model X has 55% content from the US and Canada. According to a September report by IC Cars, Tesla Model 3 became the fastest-selling second-hand car in the United States for the fourth consecutive month. Data shows that the average sales day of Model 3 is only 16.0 days significantly faster than the industry average of 32.8 days, previously 22.4 days for 20 models. Interestingly, the estimated average price is $47,453 US dollars, which is somewhere between the prices of the new Model 3 standard range 43,190 US dollar and long range AWD 51,190 US dollar, including destination fees. We guess that the heavily used Model 3 is the first long range and performance version RWD. On the other hand, according to data from the China Passenger Car Association, Tesla China has a new King EV. The Chinese entity responsible for tracking new car registrations revealed that Model Y has officially become China's best-selling Tesla car, surpassing Model 3, which has been one of the biggest catalysts for the country's electric car revolution. Model Y is an all-electric crossover that entered the Tesla car lineup in March 2020 after initial production. Since then, this car has gained notoriety for its wide appeal in almost all markets. In Tesla's hometown of California, Model Y surpassed Tesla's sales figures in just seven months overtaking the Model 3. The two vehicles are extremely similar and share many of the same parts, up to 75%, according to some Tesla executives. The difference between the two cars really amounts to size, cargo space, and body style. Although Model Y continues to establish its long-awaited title as Tesla's most popular car, the all-electric crossover is now surpassing Model 3 in the Chinese car market. Since it was first delivered in China nearly two years ago, Model 3 has performed exceptionally well in China. It dominates the sales data for the whole year of 2020, and 2021 is also very friendly to Model 3. Tesla still sets its sights on the award of delivering the best quality electric vehicles in China. CPCA data shows that Model Y has now surpassed Model 3 in domestic sales. In September alone, 33,033 Model Y units were sold, and in the last month of the third quarter, new owners registered 19,120 Model 3 units. The surge in Model Y sales can be attributed to Tesla's appeal as a Chinese electric car manufacturer. Yesterday, CPCA reported that Tesla delivered the largest quarter in China, reaching 56,006 vehicles. Model Y continues to dominate the global electric vehicle rankings, including the increasingly popular Chinese market, 
which has made a huge contribution to the transition to electrification. CEO Elon Musk also has high hopes for Model Y, saying that he expects it to become the most popular car in the world in 2022. Although Tesla moved its headquarters out of California, CEO Elon Musk made it clear that the automaker will still develop in the state. He didn't lie because Tesla now takes over most of HP campus in Palo Alto. Earlier, the real estate news provider registry reported that Tesla had leased 325,000 square feet of 1,501 page mill road from HP, citing sources that understand the rental market. Musk has said Tesla will keep expanding activities in California, including boosting output for its car factory in Fremont and its battery plant in Nevada by 50%. Musk, who had said the Texas move was due to lack of space at the Fremont factory and expensive housing prices in California, did not elaborate on how many people would move to Texas. According to the Silicon Valley Regional Institute, Tesla has 12,000 employees in the San Francisco Bay Area, including 750 employees in Palo Alto. It is believed that the lease term is 10 years, and Tesla will take over about half of HP campus. So the giant Musk wasn't joking when he said that they are hitting the sides of the bull. Financially, Tesla must be very satisfied with the move to enter the cryptocurrency holdings because its share in Bitcoin has increased by $1 billion. Last year, Tesla has been deeply researching the world of cryptocurrencies. Earlier this year, Tesla invested $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. Soon after, the automakers started accepting cryptocurrency as payment for new cars. Later, CEOs Elon Musk even talked about the possibility of Tesla starting to accept Dogecoin as payment for its vehicles. However, a few days later, Tesla took a step back to use cryptocurrency by canceling the Bitcoin payment option. The company noted concerns about Bitcoin network energy demand. Tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin. We are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. This is a concern shared by many Tesla community members when Tesla first announced its Bitcoin investment, and many were angered by the fact that the company didn't think about it in the first place. At the time, Tesla pointed out that they would not sell their shares in Bitcoin, and they planned to resume accepting Bitcoin after the network showed a higher renewable energy mixed currency payment. Earlier this summer, Musk said that he believes Tesla will resume accepting Bitcoin payments because he sees an improvement in the energy structure of Bitcoin mining. As usual, the value of Bitcoin has been fluctuating significantly, but in recent days it has stabilized at around $58,000. It brings Tesla's approximately 43,200 BTC position to approximately $2.5 billion, which means that the value of the share has increased by $1 billion, as pointed out by Bitcoin Magazine. The automaker's goal with its cryptocurrency stake is to have an alternative to holding money as its cash reserve grows. Moving to the last update, Tesla had agreed to purchase tons of nickel closing a multi-year deal. Tesla's goal of mass production of 4680 batteries recently took an important step forward on Wednesday, when New Caledonian mining company Promi Resources announced that the electric car manufacturer had agreed to purchase in a multi-year agreement 42,000 tons of nickel. Nickel is a key material required for Tesla's high-power batteries, such as the 4680 battery currently in trial production at the company's Cotto Road plant in Fremont, California. Prony stated in a statement that its goal is to produce 44,000 tons of nickel by 2024, which is actually twice its estimated production in 2021. At the press conference, Prony CEO's Antonin Burier confirmed that Tesla is now the mining company's largest customer to date. Although he did not specify any details of Prony's deal with Tesla, Burier did say that the electric car manufacturer's 42,000 tons output is indicative and may vary. As Tesla's main nickel supplier, Prony is not alone. Earlier this year, Tesla also signed an agreement to acquire nickel from BHP Billiton's operations in Australia. Considering Tesla's goal of increasing the production of cars and energy storage in the next few years, it should not be surprising if the company signs more agreements with other nickel suppliers in the near future. After all, Tesla CEO Elon Musk emphasized that nickel will become a key component of its long-range vehicles. The CEO of Tesla has always insisted on his nickel position. For example, at the recent 2021 annual shareholder meeting, Musk reiterated that the company's most demanding vehicles, such as Cybertruck and Tesla Semi, will use nickel-based cathodes. 
Tesla CEO also reiterated the company's standard range of vehicles and battery storage products will use batteries equipped with iron-based cathodes. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your comment in the section below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. There are many more future-focused tech videos coming soon. So until then, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.